I got the formula and I'm about to drop it loud So what we talking about, there is no talking now We take it out to the box, we're rocking it out It's tick tock now, the box talk is down All my irritators try to watch the talk is down But they can't stop me, I'm already on the ground Everything is growing faster than I can count Hey everyone, it's your host Cyber Gaming Studios, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, this is going to be a very short video. I'm not trying to make this video as very much as long as possible, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys if you guys if you are having a specific issue that is resulting you preventing you from playing your your games. Now, most majority of the time, whenever you have an issue with your game, and you'll have you'll, what you'll have is a lock icon on. On your game it can be from just simply turning on your console it can be simply from your internet cut, cutting off or just simply because you haven't purchased the game now in many instances when this this does happen it could be a corrupted license and this could have happened for some people not everybody but some people this can happen to where an application is just locked and they have no idea how to fix it now in this video is i haven't done a guide like this in a very long time but this video is going to show you how and how to fix that if you're if you're having problems launching any games while you're playing online and is just uh, very annoying because sometimes whenever you play a game you either halfway get a ver license verification issue or just simply you're unable to boot the game because you see a locked icon next to your game that you purchased and you're playing on your account and you have no idea what's going on. So in order to fix this, it is very simple. You need to make sure that one, you are connected fully on the internet, wireless or wired. For the faster, if you want to do this faster, I would highly recommend you guys try this on a wired connection than a Wi-Fi connection, simply because it's just gonna be much more faster. But if you don't have the option to, then wireless would be Wi-Fi would be fine. It's not a big deal. But just make sure that you have you have your PS4 connected to the internet at all times during this process. During this process, if anything happens to your internet connection, the light restoring your license will fail and it could cause even more issues than it originally was. So what you need to do is head over to your PS4 and head over to system settings. You'll need to head into your account management and in accounts management, you're gonna be seeing a little option called restore licenses. Select this option and I'll, and I'll tell you if you a, a little notice saying if you become unable to use the content you download from the PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the license for their content. Try restoring the license. If you select restore, the applications will be closed. Make sure all applications are closed before performing this. Yes, this will automatically close them, but closing them automatically prevents uh, the PS4 to do extra more work, and it's just more faster than having it to do it yourself. So we're gonna click. We're gonna get, click restore, and <clears throat> I don't have to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. And depending on your internet speed, it's gonna take a certain amount of licensing. Right now, I have 578 license to to download, and it's gonna take not too long, depending because I have an internet, internet connection, and there's not many much licenses to download anyways. If it was like beyond that, then I'm like, holy shit, I would be a little bit too high. But this process is only to be used for when if you have a problem with your current license, such as it, it is. This is how DRM works. In order for a game to run, it requires a license, which this performs. And without that license, you're unable to play that game. In certain circumstances, sometimes whenever the console automatically shuts off without properly being shut off, it can corrupt a license that for that specific game. So whenever you play that game, you're gonna either either they're gonna be locked out of the game, you're gonna have issues where it's gonna force close you halfway in the middle of the game, whatever you're doing, and you're gonna be upset. So this is gonna hopefully fix that issue. Once you actually do redo this, you're going to have to restart your PS4. I would highly recommend you do this simply because it will refresh all the old licenses and 
have them restored. So even though it says license is not restored, this should fix your issue. All you gotta do is restart your PS4 and you will be good to go. If this guide actually helped you at any point necessary and you experienced this problem, then let me know in the comments section below either if it happened to you. And, and let me know if this actually helped you in any form or fashion. It just can be a very, a, a very useful video for you, especially if this happens to you and you have no idea how to fix it. And this is a way how to repair those kind of things. So I'm hoping that you guys definitely like this video if you guys did. And I'm hoping that you guys stay tuned for more content like this. If you want, I want a guide, let me know in the comment section what you guys want a guide for and I'll make it very easily, but depending on what it is. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video and peace out.